guys, let's go ahead and let's start talking about this problem. Uh, when we're looking at it, it says a certain car is capable of accelerating uniformly at, and we see we have 0 0.77 meters per second squared. It wants to know what is the magnitude of the car's displacement um, as it accelerates uniformly from a speed of 84 kilometers an hour to 95 kilometers an hour. Um, first thing that we can do is basically figure out what equation we're going to use. We'll use if that to do that. So we have I, F, D, A, T. And let's figure out what we're going to use. Now obviously um, we have our acceleration. That's the first thing we're given. We're searching for our displacement. We have our initial velocity and we have a final velocity. So we're going to use the equation that does not have time, which we know that equation is acceleration equals our final velocity squared minus our initial velocity squared all over 2 times our displacement. Okay. Now working from here, the other thing that we should notice is the unit of our velocity. This is in kilometers per hour and we need it in meters per second um, because our acceleration is in meters per second squared. Okay, and our answer wants to be in meters. So the first thing we have to do is convert our 84 kilometers an hour to meters per second. So we take our 84 kilometers in one hour and we convert that into one kilometer there's a thousand meters and in one hour there are 3600 seconds which that will give me an initial velocity of right around 23.33 uh, meters per second. Now we'll do the exact same thing to find our final velocity except we know that that one is going to be are 95 kilometers an hour, which when we do the exact same thing, multiply by 1,000, divide by 3,600, we get 26.39 meters per second. So now all we have to do is we have to come over to our equation and we have to solve for what we want. Now we want displacement, okay? So we're gonna solve for displacement. Now this is quick and easy. Um, if we're solving for the denominator, just switch it out. So we'll have displacement equals our final velocity squared minus our initial velocity squared all over 2 times our acceleration which we go ahead and we take what we have and we plug it in so we should get our final velocity which is 26.39 meters per second and we're going to square that whole thing minus 23.33 meters per second which is our initial velocity all over 2 times our acceleration of 0 0.77 meters per second squared. Okay, make sure to put your entire denominator in parentheses, put your entire numerator in parentheses, and then when we work that out, we should get an answer. I got my answer right around 98.6552, and that is our displacement, um, so therefore that is in meters.